Here we go again, Pierre, we're set with fight number three. His professional record now is 9 and he is a phenomenal striker and very well, very well versed on the ground. This will be his uh, first fight in Japan, do you think? No, he's fought. He'll be well known to the Japanese fans. Yes, yes he will, they love him here. And he jumps over the ring, loosening it up. A record 17, 6 and 4. Here he comes. Just in his uh, traditional gi again. Stands 5 foot 8 inches tall. Kao Uno. Yeah, this guy, he has fought the who's who in, in MMA. BJ Penn, who nobody knows. And I think that's an advantage. You definitely don't want your opponent no one knows. Let's see if Uno does his trademark. He sort of lies there. There we go. He lies down in the ring. You know, almost like star formation. This is sort of funny to know. Um, I saw him in a magazine in some of the store shops. Miling men's clothing. Yeah. Advertise uh, clothing, all sorts. Big round of furious fight. You say lightweight, but I'm telling you, Joachim Hansen to be so little. He does look the more muscular of the two. Slightly taller. Very respectful. No fight is easier at, at this Jets. point in their career. Jets. Pensive look on the face of Uno. Joachim? Nee, oh, nice takedown. He should have done that. As Uno takes top position. Say in this lightweight division, it's fast and furious. Looked like he was trying to set up for a, a leg lock there. Or possibly side step in the legs. He takes, almost takes his back. Yeah, Skewer is very nice with the right hands. Nice up kick. Back to the feet. Joaquin with a single leg. Will he get the takedown? No, takes, takes his back. back. Oh, nice slam. Again, has his back. Look at I the sink. I'm not sure where that came from. Very nice move. Uno turns right back into Uno it. Uno looking over to his corner, maybe yeah, some sort of device. Be careful not to cross the legs over because Uno can trap his legs and do a leg lock from there. Yeah. And back to the feet. Knee from Uno. Trading kicks for punches. Joaquin throwing the punch. Takedown by Uno. Just a subtle, but nice Joachim on his back. Ooh, possible armbar attempt. Oh, no. Reverses out. Hours and hours of practice in the gym. Without a doubt. That's harder to do, isn't it, not Pierre, when, you, when you've knocked him? Very hard, yes. Now look, he has him trapped. Both legs are trapped, and he's throwing free punches. Like a birthday gift for Uno. Punches, because he has been quite accurate with them throughout. But sooner or later, those will add up, Howard, and the dust and finally, it's, it's the face of Uno that looks the more damaged yeah. round number one. <laughs> Whereas Uno was landing the better of the shots. Yeah. Well, I would have to score that for Uno just based on the, uh, sorry, but going back to that, that was very nice from the knee, taking Turn it down. Okay. Nice slam by Joaquin. Slam. Uh, as a fight fan, you can't ask for anything more than what we've just seen. Now. That's right. He has the legs controlling his right leg, his hand is controlling his left leg, and he's just scoring straight down the pipe with those right hands. They touch gloves. Round number two begins. Now, Joachim in the southpaw position. Another takedown, almost to an arm bar attempt by Joaquin. And they say Uno likes to hold down the limb, doesn't he, before making the transition. K1 Heroes. It's a classic matchup. Ooh, Uno looked like he got rocked with that. Well, they don't look like much. They will add up. Now, I've seen that before, but I've seen it when the, the two fighters were on the ground. Throws it in the left uppercut. Now up against the ropes, Hanson. Leg shots. That's and good, it. solid punches. He catches the foot jab, you know, to a takedown. He takes the back. back now. He needs to be careful about crossing his legs. Actually, he has who knows who. There is a. End of round number two. Kind of shifted by the end uh, towards Hanson. Let's have a look at the replay action. 
close to an all bar tip, which we know gets out, pins me. Here's a kick. Oh, the head rocks all the way back. That looked like. Now, as the corner man for Uno, what, what are you telling Uno right now? Pretty much the top position. Just keep grounding and pounding and going for those submissions. Now, for your king, do you think his corner is telling him to stand up? Hansen going straight forward. for the kill. Nice knees by Hansen. Ooh. Excellent takedown. Oh, it's a knee ride straight into full guard, but Uno was just too ready for that. Reverses it. Now he has top position. Cartwheel guard pass. No thanks. Yeah. And going to the well another time. Sort of here from here. And does it successfully. The amount of times that they change position spirits. It's a series of one move, somebody counters. Then they come, which leads for a high paced, exciting fight. I'm sure uh, Hansen's quite aware of that though. And he fights now. Like you said, it's just a count. He's got the leg tied up again. Oh, and he's got a possible submission attempt straight on. The king looking to bend his arm to get out of the first well, Closest to a submission we've seen so far, Pierre, in this, in this third round. Yes. Oh, and yeah. a uppercut from Hansen. Nice little boxing flurry here in the last. Uno looks to take down again. Another takedown by Uno. Does this guy stay? Uno still bleeding out of the nose, but not copious in that. And Hansen stands back up. Oh! Oh my goodness. I did not see, see that coming. I don't think Uno did either. If Uno so looked back for a fraction of a second to see what his corner was saying. What an end to an epic battle. You would think it would have been a textbook strike, knee to the face. Self. And there goes the knee. Oh, and you can just see the hair and sweat fly from the head of the replay. Right here, Howard, the knee comes up. Doesn't even see the knee coming. I think Uno is almost looking for a single leg pickup for him all night, but Joachim adjusted his game, and the result being the knockout. Just like you said, he looked and cool. boom. That is a full on strike. Let's not even hold his trophy. Yeah. He's up. This was a very fought, hard fought battle. Yeah. Well, I would have to score that for Uno just based on the. Uh, sorry, but going back to that, that was very nice from the knee. Take turn down. Nice slam by Joachim. Slam. Uh, as a fight fan, you can't ask for anything more than what we've just seen. Now. That's right. He has the legs controlling his right leg, his hand is controlling his left leg, and he's just scoring straight down the pipe with those right hands. Let's have a look at the replay action. Goes to an all bar tip, which we know gets out, pins me. Here's a kick. Oh, the head rocks all the way back. That looked like. Now, as the corner man for Uno, what, what are you telling Uno right now? Pretty much self. And there goes the knee. Oh, and you can just see the hair and sweat fly from the head of the replay. Right here, Howard, the knee comes up. Doesn't even see the knee coming. I think Uno is almost looking for a single leg pickup for him all night, but Joachim adjusted his game, and the result being the knockout. Just like you said, he looked and then, boom. That is a full on strike. That's so come, I'm sure. And unfortunately, you hate to be on the receiving end of the highlight reel because you see it every time you turn around.